Okay, we're going to take three minutes to see what kinds of crazy invertebrate signs we can find right around the house. Go. Okay, there's too much to talk about here. So, let's just talk about this. This is a pirate spider egg sac. You see that? It's got this crazy velvet like uh, fuzz all around the outside. It's orange. Pirate spiders are awesome because they eat other spiders by grabbing onto the other spider's legs and sucking the juices out through the legs of the other spider. Here's a triangle spider egg sac. You see that? Triangle spiders are like orb web weavers. You've seen their big circular orb webs. Well, triangle spiders only have a little bit of the web. It's this triangle that they hold onto at one end, and when a bug flies into it, they shake it and grab the bug that way. What else is here? Here's a tiger moth uh, cocoon. So this is a caterpillar, those fuzzy caterpillars that have hairs all over them. Well, just before they make their cocoon, they shed all their hairs, and there's this naked caterpillar with a pile of its own hairs, and it uses its hairs to build this cocoon over itself that it, that's what it pupates inside of. It's a pretty weird strategy there. Let's see, what else do we have here? Here's a ray spider egg sac. We won't talk about that. Oh, man. Another pirate spider egg sac, a really cool one. But these right here are kleptoparasitic cobweb spider eggs, um, the egg sacs actually, and they put their egg sacs in other spiders' webs and, and they take advantage of the webs of the other spiders. Let me show you this, watch this. Check this out. I saw this when I was taking a nap in the hammock yesterday. This is a caterpillar mummy. So a wasp, called a mummy wasp, stung this caterpillar, laid its egg inside of it, and then the larval wasp developed inside the caterpillar and made the caterpillar skin into this hard case, this mummy, that it then ate this hole in the, in the back of and popped out the baby wasp and left this mummified caterpillar stuck to this aster. Pretty gruesome. Check this out. So there's this crazy feather-like pattern on the surface of these propane tanks. It's etched out of this greenish film, and this film is actually algae that's growing on the surface here, and the pattern is uh, made by slug teeth. Well, I bet you didn't even know slugs have teeth. They, they don't actually have teeth. They're this tooth-like organ called a radula, and the slug uses this organ to scrape the algae off the surface, then it inches forward a little bit more and scrapes a little bit more, inches forward, scrapes a little bit more, and that results in this awesome feather-like pattern. If you look really close at any picnic table, this wooden deck, uh, the bark of trees, anything around your house that algae grows on, you'll see this pattern. Look for it. Let me show you something else on the back of the house. Check this out. So you see these uh, crazy scrape marks in the side of the house here? You might just think the wood's falling apart, but actually, um, if you've ever seen like a paper wasp nest or a bald-faced hornet nest and wondered where they get the material from, this is where it comes from. So the wasps come and they scrape the surface of the wood off and they make these little strips and they take these strips of wood and, and spiral them up and fly away with these spirals of wood and then chew them up with their saliva and make paper out of it and that's what they use to make their nests. So somewhere around here there's a uh, wasp nest made out of our house. Looks like we're out of time.